Okay, today we're talking about putting wires onto uh, bassoon reeds after they've been formed. I formed a, a, a reed here using the rubber band method and it's still wrapped up in its rubber band and so we'll see what happens with that. When I do this I get some 22 gauge wire. This is a, a one pound spool. It's a lifetime supply of 22 gauge wire and you can see maybe here that it's pretty darn crooked uh, when it comes off the spool and so I take it and I uh, rub it between a, a, uh, a pair of pliers or nippers in this case uh, a couple of times in my thumb and it pretty much straightens it out and then I cut off my wire and I happen to have a marking on my nippers so I know where to cut it off can we see this yes we can see this and so I just cut off a piece of uh, some chunks of, of wire. I happen to use four wires in, in my thing. I've cut off some one of them previously. Uh, I think four wires are a good, are a good set to do, uh, particularly because it puts one of the wires very close to the, to the end, to the focal end of the reed, and it allows for uh, a good seal there. Okay, so I've got some wires cut. I've got my reed that's been formed using the rubber band method and the rubber band's still on it. It's sat, uh, well, about 14, 15 hours. Uh, I, it's usually overnight, so I, I, I made this yesterday afternoon and I'm doing this in the mid-morning of the next day. And so I'm unwrapping my rubber band until it's about halfway back. So I'm giving myself some room to put on the wires and still have the reed stuck to my mandrel. Okay, so that I don't have loose pieces uh, dealing around. Now, where you want to put the wires is certainly up to you. Uh, but I have my own particular thing. When I finish my reed, I have a shoulder at an inch and an eighth. Uh, my, when, I, when I've gouged this, it's, it's been a little bit more than that. So I'm going to mark off uh, my first wire at an inch and a sixteenth. So that's um, about, it'll be an inch and a sixteenth is 27 millimeters, about 27 millimeters. And that's about three millimeters or a sixteenth of an inch short of where uh, the shoulder will be on my on my reed. So the shoulder on my reeds are, are at about 30 millimeters. Okay, so I've marked off that first place and then I take a triangular cross-section uh, file and I mark that spot. I put a dent in it so that the wire will engage in that in that spot. That's a square section file. Okay, here's a triangular section file and I'm going to mark that spot where I put my pencil mark at an inch and a sixteenth, 27 millimeters from the end. Okay, so I put a, put a mark on, on the reed. Okay, now when I when I straighten out my wires, what I want to do is I want to try to, there, there are going to be some, some that are curvy, and there are some that are pretty straight. And I want to take one that's pretty straight in order to do my first two wires. These, these uh, if I have dents in the wire, then I'm going to have problems with the shape of, of the reed afterwards. Okay, so I put my my wire here, I put it uh, about the same distance in each side. I engage the wire into the dent that I made with the, with the file, and then I bend my reeds around. Now, I'm right-handed, and so I make sure that the wire end that was on the right-hand side is on the top, and the other one, and the one that was on the left-hand side is on the bottom. So I've wrapped it around and I cross it. I take a pair of pliers. I use needle nose pliers. You can use anything you want. 
and grab it right there where the wire crosses and start twisting the wire down. Now I'm going to pull just a little bit so that the wire is smooth on the back edge here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's smooth on the back edge. And I twist it down. And I do not really want to get these tight at the beginning. Okay, I want to make sure that my, my wire is not quite straight across here in the back. And so I'm going to push it up a little bit on this side. And get it straight. Yeah, that's straighter. And I'm going to bring this down until the windings get close to the reed itself. But I only want them close. I only want them close. I don't want them down tight. If I make it too tight, what's going to happen is I'm going to start putting dents in the side of the wire and it's going to deform the soft cane that I had that's still there because the cane is still a little bit damp. Okay, I'm working to straighten this out a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it that way. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure where my second wire will be. Okay, and I turned my reed over so the windings were on the top, now they're on the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to measure down uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch is the distance that I use. 5 sixteenths of an inch is about 8 millimeters. For those of you who are uh, metrically inclined. And I do the same thing that I did before. Okay, so I put a mark in. And I'm going to take my file and put a dent in there. Now these... these dents that I'm putting in here make it so that my wires aren't going to slip. They're going to stay where they are. Uh, okay, and again, I'm going to take a fairly straight piece, straight meaning unkinked piece of wire. It's got, obviously got a curve to it, but it does not have any, any weird dents in it. Again, I'm going to engage it into the, into the dent that I made Push the two sides around, right side for me, right-handed people on the top, and bring the, the other one around, and start twisting it down. Okay, oh, that's came out. The wires are fairly close. I want, I want the wires to uh, be right next to each other, so they're close together. And I'll twist it down until again it's close to it's close to yeah but can we see it's close to the edge here but it is not uh, down tight to it and I haven't put any dents in the side of the reed. Okay, at this point I can I can get rid of the rubber band <coughs> and like I said I use four wires because because it's, it's easier for me and I, I always get a nice seal down at this end of the wire uh, of the reed and here I'm just going to I don't do any measuring on the next two reeds but I put I put uh, another dent in here with a file in the same direction as the second reed uh, second wire was okay so I've done that it's about an eighth of an inch in the end from the end an eighth of an inch is about three millimeters and here's my chance to use up my, my wires that didn't come out without so many kinks. It really doesn't matter at this end uh, what, what's going on. And so I can use the pieces of wire that, that didn't come out quite so straight. Okay, I'm bending around. Oops, got to get it on the top, the right one on the top. Wrap it around. Oops, yeah, well, mm -hmm. now you're getting to see me do the really bad job. Wrap it around. And I've got those ends together and twist it down. Okay, and make sure that that wire engages in the notch that you created. Okay, again, I don't measure these. Uh, and so what I do with my fourth wire 
is it goes in the middle between the second and fourth wire. And I just eyeball that. I've never had any problems with this. It's just an eyeball pen to see what's going on. And again, I can use a piece of wire that wasn't particularly um, unkinked to do that. So I put these on and I start wrapping it down. Push the blades there, the, the loops together. Make sure it's engaged in the notch. Squeeze the wires together. It's not in the notch. There it's in the notch. These I can put a little bit tighter. I still don't want to make them really tight because I can choke off the the um, the, the reed. Okay, my second one looks like it could go just a little tighter than that because the the wires are separating a little bit. Okay, so I put another like quarter turn on that one, and that looks good. Okay, so I've got. My four wires on my reed. I just take it off, put it on my drying board, and it's going to sit there for a couple of days as it gradually dries out. This is one that I did yesterday, and I'm just looking at it. I, I, I'll, I'll pop it off so that it's not down tight on my mandrel, and I'm going to look at the wires and see if they wiggle. That one doesn't. That wire, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I've got it too high. Okay, so you can see that that wire is wiggling. So it's still loose. This one's a little bit loose. The top one is very loose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull these up a little bit until they stop wiggling. And again, make sure that my wires are, are tight and that they're straight. Okay, so there's a little gap here, and so I'm squeezing that little gap out of it, checking to see that it's straight. This one's still a little bit loose. That one's a little bit loose. Okay. So things are, are tight. What's happening is, is as this dries, the, the, the cane will shrink a little bit more and uh, uh, you'll need to tighten things up again. Uh, maybe it's a couple times, but, uh, but that's, that's pretty good. Okay. So, so I'll just set this aside and the next thing, uh, so I'll continue to, to tighten those up. And the next thing you'll see is, is what I do to, um, to, I, I put plastic on, on the, on the ends of these rather than hand wrapping them with red. And so you'll see what I do with that on the next one. Thank you. Bye.